album, where does the fix begin? Um, man, I don't know. We just gotta we got we gotta be better. Um, and I'm gonna get away from your question for a second and just say it's a couple of unacceptable things going on. One, our play is unacceptable, and two, the dome being empty or emptying out. I think I saw some fans leaving the second quarter. That's unacceptable. But I don't blame the fans. It's, it's on us because they come to see us play and perform. And when we don't perform, that's, what you, that's the results you get. But I've never experienced that. Um, and if I was a fan, I'd leave too. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just not good enough right now um, for whatever reason. Uh, we just got to figure it out. Yeah, I know you all are in the like, excuse-making business. But mm -hmm. I mean, like, yeah, it's tough. I mean, it's tough. It's tough to play with with injuries like that. You know, um, it's tough to play like that. But I mean, it's the NFL. Next man up. So whoever the next men up are, they got to play. I mean, they got to. They, there's a, a certain standard that you got to play up to, and it just is what it is. That's the, that's the reality of this business. Um, and. The other reality of this business is when you start losing too much, um, everybody get on the hot seat, right? Coaches, when the coaches leave, then players leave, then person that like it just is what it is, and and that's something that I that I um, I definitely understand and I realize, and it just sucks um, because there's people that aren't in, in as good as a spot as me that are you know they putting their blood, sweat, and tears into this and. You know, um, like I said, when, when you when you do too much, when you get too many L's and and, and and you don't you don't produce enough wins, then everybody's jobs are on the line, and that's that's affecting people's families. So it's it's things bigger than football that are affected by football. Do you do you feel like the team is still supporting Dennis Allen? Yeah, I don't, that's that's not a question for me to answer. Uh, I ain't I ain't I don't got nothing for that. You said the team, like as in the locker room. I mean, we we here. We go to work every day. We got to work. We just got to keep working and figure out what we got to do to to put win, uh, string wins together. How much does this team need to get away, reset, refresh? Um, I think this is this this is a to your point. Yeah, I think guys need to kind of just be around some family and just reset and, and, and recharge and come back ready to attack um, the rest of the season. You know, uh, it's like a little mini bye right now. So we get a chance to kind of get our minds right, get our heads clear, uh, and then come back and, and, and get to it, see what's going on. Does uh, getting healthy fix what's wrong with uh, this team? Uh, um, I think getting healthy makes us feel better. I don't think it, it, it just it's going to be a, just the, the ultimate fix. Because um, there's there's things that we still we, we, we got to do better. We we shoot ourselves in the foot. Um, I don't think we're playing with a lot of detail. Um, I don't think we're playing with a lot of energy. <laughs> like Thursday night football is one of the more than any other Monday night, Sunday night, Thursday night football. You got to come out with energy. And the team that comes out with energy and the team that comes out with you know because we, we both played on Sunday. You got three days to recover and you got a game. The team that comes out with, with and just puts their mind in a place of where like shoot, we got, it's Thursday. We know it's a short week. We just got to go play. The team that can do that, I mean that's that's the team that's really that's, that's the team that's gonna win. And we ain't do. I don't think we did it today. I think we came out flat. I think we came out. Um, I think we just we just came out and it was a Thursday. It was a Thursday and we had a game. It wasn't Thursday night football. Tyron was, was talking about like recommitting and kind of getting your mind right and focusing on this. Yeah. Is it like necessary right now just to stay? Yeah, 100%. 100%. Because I mean, what is that? How many losses is that in a row? Five? Shit. That's a, that's a say it all right there. Is this as disappointing a stretch as you can remember going yeah, through? Yeah, I ain't never I ain't never been. I'm, I ain't never been through that. Especially, I mean, the dome. I mean, I've been here eight years and I've never seen that dome clear out like that. And like I said, if I was a fan, I'd leave too. Just being honest, because it's just people fed up. What's kind of like the vibe in the locker room right now? Is it frustration? And if it's not frustration, guys tired of losing. Frustrated. Um, I can't speak for everybody and say concerned, but definitely frustrated. You don't want to win. You do that. I mean, you don't want to lose. You do this to to win. Everybody's in here to win. And we're not doing that. Um, it's tough, but you know I think we got some good leaders in here, and and the messaging is always going to be to keep your head up. And you know we all we all men in here, we all know what the what the job um, 
what the job calls for. And, you know, you go through adversity, you got to figure out a way to dig yourself up out of a hole when you're in a hole. I don't think there's a lot of I don't, I don't think there's any guys in here that's that's gonna lay down player wise. You know what I'm saying? That's because I, I I mean I suit up with these dudes. Um, I mean I sweat with these dudes, bleed with these dudes. So I don't think it's anybody that's gonna lay down. But I'm, I think it's a lot of things that we got to figure out to be able to, to to succeed. Do you feel like you've been saying the same stuff for a while? Uh, it feels like this is copy and paste. Yeah, a little copy and paste. I think we had well we had two weeks of where it was like uh, and you know I. I I always say I feel like I'm the I'm the uh, I'm like the the like the negative Nancy kind of because you know we, we 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 have two good weeks and I'm like well we still gotta you know we gonna have to play better teams and better football and and then I mean fast forward now we five games down so you know it's just it it is it's kind of copy and paste from what's been going on but I mean we just gotta find a way. Knowing what the super's capable of, or is there danger in relying too much? Uh, I, I mean, I, I I looked at it like it's a win. We on to the next week, you know. Um, I didn't really look at those wins as, oh yeah, this is what, this is what's gonna be going on all year. I looked at it as like, okay, it's a good start. You know, we 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 have, we seeing some things that you know can win us a lot of games, and then it wasn't as much as 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 many mistakes or, or blemishes that can lose you games but again you got to play better teams so I mean you're your, your best in those games got to be better in, in, in games against better opponents so thank you